All right, hey there folks, how you doing today? Hope all is going well for you. Sorry about the background racket. There's people that live a quarter mile away that I can hear like they were right next door. Uh, they're throwing a party. Now, I'm not going to go down there and tell them to stop so that I can do this because, you know, that's not how I roll. Anyway, uh, some of you, uh, just a few of you, watched the video I did the other day when it, or I refurbished this old uh, Streamlight Stinger XT flashlight. I gave the backstory on it. If you'd like to see that, it's right up there. Uh, anyway, the biggest issue with this flashlight is it just it doesn't have much in the way of light output. The old-fashioned xenon bulb just doesn't really put out very much light. It gets hot. It drains the battery pretty quickly. It's not an efficient package. As I mentioned before, the inside of the head of this flashlight is milled in such a manner that you can't use the new C4 LED upgrade, which I had originally purchased for that just did not work. I sent that back and I ordered something different. Now I had mentioned in the, also in that other video that there was a company called Terralux up in Colorado that made a they made an LED upgrade for these flashlights, the old ones with the xenon bulb. And uh, one of you, a guy that I know that used to have one of those, had, had commented on the other video and said that Terralux no longer made those. Well, I scoured around on the internet, and this is what I was able to find. This item right here, which appears to be the same thing that Terralux used to offer, uh, is it's manufactured by Lightstar, but if you look here on the bottom of the package, you'll see that the new bezel says Terralux on the side of it. If you come over here to the back, it says Lightstar Corporation 12301 Grant Street, number 150, Thornton, Colorado. Uh, Terralux, back when they were still a thing, was operated out of Longmont, Colorado, which is about a half an hour as the crow flies from Thornton. And so what I'm guessing occurred was that Terralux was bought out by this Lightstar company. And somebody somewhere is still making these. Now, if you try to go to the Lightstar Products website, it doesn't go anywhere. At least it didn't for me. But I was able to find this on Amazon. Folks, it wasn't cheap. This is by far an impractical way to improve a light quality on something like this. You'd be much better off just buying a brand new high-tech version of this flashlight. It would cost you about the same and you'd have something brand new. Again, we know I redid this one because of the nostalgia purpose. So with that being said, we're going to open this up, read the instructions right here on the tabletop, and we'll get it installed on the flashlight and see and what kind of difference For those of you that keep makes. track of such things, you'll see here, this is a 500 lumen light. The advertisement actually listed it at a 450 lumen. It also had a little different uh, circuitry on the LED there, so maybe they've made an upgrade. Again, there's that Terralux marking on the bezel. We'll go over here. We'll go over here with you. The Light Star Corporation, as I mentioned before. This is made in China, folks. It's nothing special. Uh, the instructions are pretty straightforward. It lists up here that it's for use in the original Streamlight Stinger, Stinger XT, and Poly Stinger flashlights only, which this flashlight that we're doing it in is a Stinger XT, so it should work just fine. All right, so before we get any further into this, let's get this package opened up. And you seal these things like they don't want you getting into them. I think that's for theft prevention in a retail environment. Probably a good thing, but it's a kind of a pain in the neck for anybody dealing with it. I'm just going to take that paperwork right out of there. And then, what the heck, we'll cut across the bottom here too so that we can get at it a little better. Get rid of that. So here's that new bezel I was telling you about. And they've got this dorky rubber ring on here, which... I probably won't keep that on there just because I think they look kind of stupid, but you'll notice in comparison it appears clunkier, but it's not really that much bigger than the original one, although it is a little bit taller. I'm assuming that's because it has to be to, accom to accommodate the little circuit board thing that goes in there. Now I'll show you here on the 
on the back of this and hopefully you can see it on the camera. I'll try to get a close-up if you can't. Uh, there's two little wires, little uh, electrodes sticking up out of the circuitry there. And those go into the same two holes inside the factory mechanism that the old xenon bulb plugged into. Now if you read on here, it tells you there's a notch at the back of this and that notch has to be, ma has to be lined up with the screw in the head of the flashlight for proper orientation. That's important. So, without further ado, let's get that old bezel off. And just because I know there's one or two of you that would probably want to see it there. That's the two of them side by side. And here you'll see that the Terralux bezel is a little bit larger overall profile than the original Xenon bezel. Again, here is that bulb that we were talking about. And I don't know if you can see that on there. I'll try to take a picture of that as well. There's those two little wires poking out of the end of the bulb. So again, with the notch lined up with the screw, we're going to slowly work this down in there making sure that we're right in line with where we want to be and you can feel it if you just wiggle it just a little bit folks don't don't get all crazy I just wiggle it just a little bit and you'll feel it slide right down in there where it needs to go and it seems like it's in there Seems like to me it barely fits. But with the little rubber anti-roll thing on there. It's a little anticlimactic. So one could argue how much better this is than the old factory light in that it's a less than beautiful You know, it kind of it kind of sticks up a little bit. The markings on here could have been in a better place. That's probably just me henpecking. Perhaps. But it definitely lines up on the wrong side of things. Anyway, compared to the factory bezel, it's a little bit larger and it doesn't have quite the streamlined look of the stream light. Ha ha ha, you see what I did there? But it works really well. It puts out substantially more light than the old one did. And I knew guys that ran these in the field for many years effectively. They worked really good, lasted a long time. So I've got good hopes for it. I'm going to secure this factory bulb to the old bezel with a piece of tape. and put it away in a drawer out here in the barn where it'll never be seen again because that's what I do but tell me what you think in the comments down below you think this is something you would do to an old flashlight or do you think it's more trouble than it's worth maybe you have one that was given as an award or has some special meaning that would make it worth the rebuild maybe you just like rebuilding old things but anyway let me know what you think take care God bless